hey what's up guys welcome to another video so in this particular video we are going to see how we can attack the HWT token so this particular video is actually part of our uh, security course so if you have not yet checked that then I would encourage you to go ahead check it out if you like the course content and if you want to know more about API security then definitely sign up for the course so here what we are going to do is we are going to retrieve one of the sample JWT token and try to crack it to get to the golden token okay so I have already explained about like how a JWT token look like how does uh, I mean what is the signature what is the header and all the stuff so we have this sample token available over here now if I go ahead and click on decode the token you are going to notice some value like is is equal to witrap.com admin equal to false and some timeline and other stuff right so objective here is to try to get the golden token token now how do we get the golden ticket sorry how do we get the golden ticket so golden ticket can be retrieved by going through the documentation so if I open this particular URL um, on port number 8080 the documentation is available over here so it says like what is JWT token you can uh, you know understand what is header what is payload what is signature and quick quick uh, explanation about the JWT token right which we, we already know if you have not then go ahead and watch the previous videos I have already explained all this stuff in more detail okay now if I go to the security vulnerability so there are multiple vulnerability associated with different version but um, what we are primarily focusing on is like how does the JWT token decoding work like okay so this particular token that is available it support both HS256 and RS256 and uh, if you read further like if you go to here API library you could see that uh, what is issue token what is decode token what is get golden token okay so issue token is basically provide you ability to issue a JWT token and decode token we just saw and so we will uh, come back over here and uh, try to see like if we can um, exploit it and get the golden token now to begin that I will definitely take the token first if I take this token to jw.io so here you could see that uh, this is basically the RS256 and whatever value we just saw right so let's modify this to HS256 and uh, see how it is behaving so if you modify the algorithm this is how it is look like and I'm not going to talk about why we are modifying these things because this has already been explained in another video so I'm going to take this particular value and uh, simply replace over here okay and if I submit the same value over here as a decode token and let me use the interceptor over here see so if I intercept the traffic and uh, okay let me go back and get uh, decode the token so this is the request basically that has been sent and I will send it to repeater so here you see some uh, value which is basically responsible for uh, verifying or showing you or displaying you the secret key okay as we have already read through the documentation this is how it is going to work right uh, switching the signing and other thing so if I copy paste this value and uh, use the secret uh, signature value as over here right and uh, this is how the new token that has been generated now if you see that we would definitely like to have this admin to be true because false is ultimately is going to uh, show us the same value and now if I go back and copy this particular token value yeah let me paste it quickly and if I go here okay I'll turn off the interception as well uh, you can see really quickly okay, let me replay the value that we got the golden token so this is how the weakness in JWT token is been exploited like we just modified the algorithm and utilizing the same algorithm pattern only we figure out the secret key or whichever is the signature that is being used in most of the cases and uh, later on we utilize the same thing to exploit the vulnerability and uh, get the golden token so I hope you would have got some knowledge uh, if you wanted to know more such details like how does it is working why we have changed the algorithm uh, how does the zero token is formed please go ahead and watch the previous video of course it is completely explained in the API security course as well so thanks for watching this video have a great time